Hi, my name is Mike and today I'm going to be teaching you about the most important thing as a new clarinet player and that is how to put the clarinet together. I'm going to name all of the parts and show you how to assemble the clarinet safely and efficiently. Uh, let's get started. First I'll name all the parts, oh, and make sure the clarinet is uh, on the ground in front of you. That's really important. Um, first part is the bell. This is on the bottom of the clarinet. This is the bottom joint. This is the upper joint. This is the barrel. Yours will probably look a bit different than mine. It'll probably have those two metal rings on the top and bottom. And this is the mouthpiece. At the end of this video, I'm gonna explain a lot about the mouthpiece because there are a couple more moving parts to this. Okay. Now to put the clarinet together, I'm gonna to start with the first two things that I named, the bell and the bottom joint. Oh, but before I do that, um, I want you to know that you really need to put cork grease on all of the corks that you see on the instrument. And that's going to make it much easier to put everything together. Cork is, is this part that is on um, many parts of the instrument, the bottom joint, the top joint, and the mouthpiece. Go ahead and do that real quick. Your cork grease, which should have come with your rented or purchased instrument, um, looks like chapstick. Don't use it as chapstick. Okay. Once you've done that, you can start by doing this. Look how I'm holding the bottom joint. I'm holding it from the bottom and I'm closing keys rather than holding in a place where I'm going to be bending keys open. We don't want that. So I'm closing these keys and then I'm gently twisting until these are completely together and I can't put them on anymore. Okay, great. Next, we're gonna add the top joint. When I add the top joint, it's the same thing. I'm gonna close keys, and that's especially important here because I wanna open this key. This is your bridge key, and it's gonna go right here, okay? Bridge key connects bridge key on the top and bottom joints. Look at that. And again, I'm gonna twist gently until those are together, right? And it's called a bridge key because it forms a bridge between these two parts. Look at that. It might take a little bit of practice. Um, and again, if it feels like it's really difficult to get one part onto another part, you probably need more cork grease, okay? Cool, next part the barrel. The bigger end is going to go on top of the top joint. Again, gentle twist. I'm still holding from down here. Cool. Next part, last part, kind of, is the mouthpiece. I took my mouthpiece cap off to do this. It's a little bit easier. And this flat open part of the mouthpiece is going to go toward you, okay? This curved part up here is going to face away from you, okay? In the end, it should look something like this. I need to back up a little bit. Cool. All right. Now, like I said, there are some more moving parts to this mouthpiece, and this is actually the part that lets you produce sound on the clarinet. So now, I'm going to take a reed. 
which you should have gotten with your rented or purchased instrument. I'm going to wet this end of the reed in my mouth. Okay, now this part on the mouthpiece is called the ligature. The ligature is what attaches the reed to the mouthpiece and we have to do that in a very specific and precise way that'll probably take you a little bit of practice. So I'm gonna loosen it first. Yours might look a bit different than mine. You might have an all metal one, that's okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flat part of the reed, the side with the writing on it, on the flat part of the mouthpiece. And this curved part on top of the reed is going to line up with the curved part on top of the mouthpiece. Everything fits together pretty intuitively if you think about it for a second. Okay, and it should look something like this. You want to be able to see a little tiny hairline of mouthpiece behind the reed when you're looking at it straight on. See that? Uh, let me get a good angle here. It should look just like that. Okay, I'm going to skirt the ligature down, tighten it, so that reed isn't going anywhere. Okay. And then when I'm not playing the clarinet, when I'm setting up my music stand, my books, things like that, I always put the mouthpiece cap on. My old teacher from high school used to tell, tell me that this is the most important part, uh, most important piece of equipment um, because it protects the reed and the mouthpiece. A good reed, we'll learn this later, but a good reed will probably last you in the beginning stages, maybe a week or two. Um, if you keep it in good condition. Um, so that's why this is so important, is to keep that, that reed in good shape. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to pause at any point because sometimes these things take a while um, to get the hang of. I um, hope you learned a lot. I'll see you next time.